Um, all right, so good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for this month's ALMA Q&A session. My name is Ali Berbovetskaya. I am the web and mobile systems librarian in the Office of Library Services. I am joined today by my colleagues, Kevin Collins, Nancy Egan, Roland Simiski, and Greg Goslin. Before we begin, I want to remind everyone of our house rules. Um, as usual, please do not place us on hold. Your hold music, while lovely, is very disruptive. Um, for the same reason, please do not accept another call while you are in this session. You may not be aware, but your hold music goes on then too. If you must, please hang up on this session if your attention is needed elsewhere. When you are available, please call back in. Today, uh, questions can be asked sort of on an ongoing basis. So please chime in on the phone or in the Zoom chat box whenever you have a question you'd like addressed. If you prefer, we also have an anonymous question form you can use. Uh, it can be accessed at cuny.libwizard.com slash f slash alma hyphen questions. And this URL was shared in yesterday's reminder email. And lastly, the session is being recorded and will be made available after its conclusion. If you don't get an email from me with the recording details, you can check the Alma implementation libguide. Recordings are kept there. Um, and that's it. Let's get started with today's session. Um, what we'd like to do today is review the timeline with you. So as we're ramping up toward our migration, we would like to provide an overview of key project dates and events, what they mean, and how they impact the CUNY libraries. Ex Libris, the vendor behind Alma, breaks the Alma implementation into three phases. Onboarding, which is the configuration of Alma's back end, which does not really impact the day-to-day -day work of the campus libraries, but it very much does <laughs> the work that OLS is doing. The implementation phase, which is when the data begins to be migrated into Alma and campuses learn to use it, which does impact the campus libraries. This will be the bulk of our project and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then the third and final phase is the go live, which is when the move to Alma is completed, which also very much impacts the campus libraries. Because that's when we will start using Alma for our day-to-day -day operations. So I'm sharing right now with you the timeline for our implementation as it stands today. Um, it is available on the implementation libguide at guides.cuny.edu slash LSP implementation slash timeline. Um, the following dates should be added to your calendar. While they are subject to change for any number of reasons, we will announce all changes in the one month look ahead reports that are being distributed via QLibs every month. So let's take a look. So as you can see, we've broken out the timeline by year and by phase. So currently we are in the onboarding phase, which officially began at the end of June, which is when we started working with the onboarding team at Ex Libris. The first thing that's coming up is um, OLS and the training working group in tandem are going to develop an initial training program for early 2020 using a sandbox instance of Alma. So this is something we currently have access to. It is an, the, it's only populated with non CUNY data. So it's just dummy data um, and it's very limited but uh, we will get started in early 2020 with some kind of training. And that will be determined, as I said, in October when we meet with the training working group. And then more robust training will begin after the February 2020 data load, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, next is coming up the Alma Demonstration Day, which will be on October 29th. It will be held at John Jay from 2 to 5 p.m. This is a one-day event that is a broad overview of Alma and how it works. It won't get in, into too many specifics, but it's useful for anyone who has yet to see Alma in action. 
uh, we will send a link to RSVP uh, later today. And then in November or December, we're still working on finding a room. We will have the Alma kickoff event, which will be the official start of the implementation phase of the project. This is a multi-day event that discusses the, spe the specifics of the migration project, um, explaining the project timeline and configuration options. Attendance will be open to everyone, but we certainly recommend at least two people who will be involved with the migration, um, as well as the campus representative to the communications committee. We will also send a link inviting you to that. And I can also share with you, it's listed it's linked in the timeline. I'll open it now just to show you a draft that we're working on currently. This is non-finalized. It's just the what we're thinking about based on the kickoff event held at SUNY last year. So we're looking at, this is day one, and you can take a look at it on your own time separately. And day two, we're thinking a day and a half. So the second day will end right around lunchtime. So again, this is available from the timeline and you can take a look. And of course, once it's been finalized and we have the link to register for the event, that will all be shared via QLibs. On December 16th, there will be uh, an Aleph back office configuration freeze. OLS will suspend Aleph back office changes in order to keep Aleph and Alma in sync. So these are things that OLS does for the campuses, such as um, new collection codes or circulation policy changes, things like, like that. Campus initiated changes, such as routine work in the acquisitions, cataloging and circulation modules will not be impacted by this freeze. And we will make an announcement when this freeze gets lifted. And then that brings us to 2020 and we are still in the implementation phase. Um, in January, this will be when we will start that initial potentially self-guided training, but we'll still talk about that with the training working group and share the details with you when they become available. In February, approximately, we will have a test load of the CUNY data. So this is when we give Ex Libris a load of our Aleph and SFX data, which will populate the working environment in Alma. This will let us see how CUNY data looks and acts in Alma. Then a month after this, because it will take a month for Ex Libris to convert the data, we will have training led by Ex Libris. This will be a multi-day lecture-based training event, and it is essential for anyone and everyone who will be working with Alma, faculty and staff, um, and while CUNY is using a train the trainer model, the more people trained, the better. And in the timeline, we've also linked to the SUNY workshop agenda, which you can take a look at here. Okay, so, um, you know what, I think I'm having trouble with audio because I can hear nothing from you guys, but you can hear me. Um, and supposedly there is some noise on the line. So if you can mute yourself until you have a question to ask, and I guess at this point, if I can't hear you, <laughs> please use the chat box to ask questions. Um, and at this time, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mute all of you, sorry about that. Just sitting here muting everyone. Okay, I think that's, I think that's everyone. Hopefully that's better. 
Sorry about that. Like I said, you can hear me, but I can't hear you for some reason. Um, so I've just muted all of the participants. Uh, please ask your questions via the chat box in Zoom. Or again, use the form that was sent out in the email yesterday. I seem to have issues with hearing you all. Um, so again, this, what I'm showing you now is the workshop agenda from SUNY. They had a four day event because they were also going live with Primo. We will only have a three day event. This is just an example. This is what SUNY did. Ours may look similar, may look different. We will take a look. Uh, okay, again, folks, I'm having audio issues here where I cannot hear any of you. If you need to chime in, um, I've muted everyone just because like I said, I can't hear you all. So I don't know if it's noisy or not. Um, so I, would, I hope you can use the chat box and I can relay the message. Uh, So you can take a look at SUNY's workshop agenda at your own leisure. But again, as soon as we have more details about this, we will share this with you. Um, and I do want to point out that um, while the February date is set here as when we send the data to Ex Libris, we shouldn't wait until then to finish preparing our data. So this goes for the Aleph optimization projects and things that we've been working on. Those completion dates for those projects were set with a, with a purpose. So we would, we want you to continue working with those deadlines. Okay, so like I said, after this test load in February, a March after we, oh, a March after, a month after we will have the Ex Libris led training. And then a month or so after that, we will have in April some CUNY led training. And the training working group will launch the first wave of CUNY led training, which will teach the CUNY centric aspects of ALMA. And then we'll have spring break. Uh, in June, July will be the sort of second wave of CUNY led training coordinated via the training working group. June 30th is when we will run the last fiscal year end ever in Aleph. July 1st. We will review the fiscal year end and starting that after that day. So July 1st will be the last day we can make changes in Aleph or SFX because starting July 2nd, our data will have a final load when it will come over to Alma. And so starting July 2nd, there will be a technical freeze in Aleph, which means there will be no more acquisitions or cataloging in Aleph. At the end of the month, in July 30th or so, again, we will have more specific dates um, as, as we learn from Ex Libris, we will have an Aleph circulation freeze. And this is when the final patron data will be uploaded to Alma and CUNY's final data will be accepted. Um, 
and just my colleague Kevin in the chat box is telling me that it's very important that we that the libraries review the fiscal year end before we migrate. It is the absolute last chance to make any needed corrections. So this we need to keep this date in mind, July first. We need to review the data before it moves over to Alma. Um, so again, at the end of July, there will be a period when we will be using Alma offline circulation. Uh, July 30th, I think is a Wednesday or Thursday. So it should be just a few days with our summer Fridays and the weekend. And then August 3rd, which is a Monday, will be our go live. And we are still finalizing these dates, but this is, as far as we know, these dates are accurate as of today. They may change. If they do, we will let you know. Um, but we're looking at August 3rd as our go live and our move to Alma for all day-to-day -day operations. And of course, after we go live, there will still be some system testing and correcting, but this begins CUNY's life with Alma. The Ex Libris team will be on hand to handle any migration issues. And per Kevin, I'm just reiterating that lending will continue until the end of July. So while we have a technical freeze, so no acquisitions or cataloging, lending will continue until live, at least lending, July 30th. On July 30th, we will start using Alma offline circulation. Okay. I think that concludes because that's, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, and we will talk about the offline circulation in the circulation committee meetings. So folks who handle that work will be uh, informed of what to do. And again, I'm stressing Alma, offline circulation, not Aleph. And again, the circulation committee, this will be discussed there throughout the year. Okay, are there any questions? And again, I wanna remind you that I can't hear <laughs> if anyone is saying anything. So please use the chat box in Zoom or the form that I sent out yesterday in the reminder for this session. And again, you can ask questions about the timeline, about just the implementation in general, the optimization projects, which are also listed here on the timeline page, just so you know. What the dates are. And question live on August 3rd? Yes. <laughs> uh, again, as of right now, that is what we are going with. If we, if this needs to change, we will update it on the timeline and let you know in the beginning of the month look ahead emails that we are sending now.
I have a question. Can you share a little more on how the training will be done, like lo local library, central, or turnkey? So we are using a train the trainer approach. So this March or April Ex Libris training will be our the official training that we receive from Ex Libris. Uh, we are working with the training working group and all of the other the functional area working groups to determine what the needs are. So the training working group will facilitate the training. Um, and it'll be done on with that that's yet to be determined, but we are looking at um, Central training. So we the, the training group working group will set up a room in a classroom when there will where there will be workstations for some hands on things after the February data load. Um, we will be going out to the campuses. We're trying to have a robust plan. And again, we will figure out what this actually looks like as we get closer to this data load. But um, sometime next month, when the training working group meets next, we will start looking at what this could potentially look like. Um, we will be getting input from the functional area working groups as well. Um, another question, when you ask for two people involved in the implementation, do you have any thoughts about who? Department heads? Potentially. Um, so yes, yeah, so what are we looking at? This was the, I think this in reference to this for the kickoff event where we say attendance is open to everyone, but we recommend at least two people who will be involved in the migration attend the kickoff. So yes, we're thinking this, this will be up, up to the campus to decide whom to send, but we are looking at those who will be involved heavily with Alma. And so it's whoever you think is key to this. Um, this could be potentially the chief librarian. It could be um, the department heads in technical services, um, access services, things like that. But that's, it's up to you really to decide who is key. And also, um, and it does not need to be manager. It's whoever you think um, is a key person in your library's operations. Um, I had a question. Will the self-checkout kiosk be compatible with Alma? Uh, yes, certainly. The systems working group <laughs> we'll be working on on making sure that that gets integrated, that there is a way to integrate it. But there, there already is, but the systems working group will be working with the CUNY specific uh, models that are in the libraries and making sure they're integrated and compatible. Um, a follow-up to the training question. Uh, so there will be some local campus trainings, perhaps. Um, we will, I think, certainly be doing borough specific trainings. Um, so we will do that. But again, we the training working group and the the other functional area working groups will be discussing what will work best and how to handle this. Yeah, we are looking at training in person. We're looking at training in the boroughs. We're looking at training online. We, we wanna make sure we cover as many bases as we can. And all of this will be announced when there are more details.
and Greg is pointing out the training will also happen throughout the year after go live as well to continue to um, the education process to make sure we all understand how it works to train new staff We will also be having uh, roundtable format discussions for the functional areas. They will start, they'll be part of the committee meetings as we go forward in ALMA. Right, and Marsha is commenting, the standing committees that exist in functional areas will also be sharing use of ALMA as they have with Aleph. Are there any other questions, comments, concerns about the timeline, about ALMA, the implementation, the Aleph cleanup projects? Just another reminder that I can't hear any of you for some reason, so please use the chat box. Um, if there are no more questions, um, I'll just remind you all that we are having a demo day, October 29th. It will be at John Jay. The invitation is going out later this afternoon. The event will be uh, broadcast and recorded. And then the Alma kickoff event, we're going to try to record at least this session. We will see how that goes. This will be, again, um, based on the space that we have available and the accommodations that they will be able to provide us. So the demo day will be recorded and shared um, it will be live streamed and recorded. The in invite will go out later today. And the kickoff event will be announced when we have a room for the uh, multi-day event. I have there's one question. Can you share how things are going overall, if you can? Um, I think <laughs> things are going very well so far. I think we in OLS and CUNY at large, I think we've done a lot of work to prepare for this migration. We are way ahead of the curve. 
we've been working on cleaning up our data for kind of years at this point, knowing that we were going to eventually move to some kind of new system. Um, we've been attending conferences. We've been in touch with colleagues who have already done this migration. So I, we honestly have done already more than other libraries have at this point in the migration process. So we are very much on track, I think, to have a very successful migration. And we have great working groups set up to help accomplish the, the things that we need during the implementation phase. So we're very, we're, we're very confident that this will go very well. Um, let's see, there is, there are no other questions. The only thing I have for you is if you can think of any topics for future Q&A sessions, you can share them in the chat box or you can email me directly. We would like to know what you want to know about so that we can help you. Okay, got another note that someone is having a conversation on the line. I'm going to mute them and hope that helps. Again, my apologies. For some reason, I can't hear any of you. So I'm just talking into a void. So you have to let me know <laughs> about these things. And again, use the chat box if you have questions. There is a question about um, libraries who are, uh, let's see, what's the question? The question reads, any campus or campuses, would you say, are behind in their preparation to migration? I think what I would say to that is I think we're all working as, as best as we can. There are some libraries that have done a lot of work to prepare for this migration and who are working very hard to make sure that their data is ready. Others may be a little more strapped for staff. In, in that case, if there are libraries struggling to complete the projects on time or just in general having a difficult time with the cleanup projects, we hope that you can, you reach out to us, email uh, service.desk at cuny.edu, and we will try to help you. And a comment from my colleague, Kevin, that uh, libraries should be reviewing their own progress internally. So you can, again, look at the cleanup projects that are listed. The, on this general ALMA implementation timeline, we have the optimization project timeline, which will link you to more information about that project if you're not familiar with it. So again, folks at the campuses should also be make, making sure that they're on top of this. Uh, 
and just reiterating that if there are any questions about these projects, if uh, email service.desk at cuny.edu, and we will be happy to help you. Are there any other questions, comments? Right. Again, this timeline is available on the implementation libguide at guides.cuny.edu slash LSP implementation slash timeline. You can review the libguide at your own leisure. We were just on the timeline. You can also see when the working groups and committees are meeting. You can see who's on the committees and working groups. There is a documentation page. If you haven't looked at it yet, you're free to do so. And as I mentioned earlier, this session and the previous Q&A sessions are recorded and kept here. And anything else like the demo day that will be recorded will also be kept here. There is an FAQ and the glossary that the previous Q&A session was discussed is also broken out here. And again, if there are no more questions, we will end it here a little bit early, but that's okay. <laughs> if you come up with any other questions, you can email uh, OLS through the service desk at service.desk at cuny.edu. We can answer you that way. If you want, you can use the, Q and the question form that I sent out yesterday. Guy, uh, what is it? cuny.libwizard.com slash f slash alma questions uh, with a dash between alma and questions. We will gather those and answer them at the next Q&A. If you have ideas for future topics for these sessions, we can take those too. You can send them to me directly. Uh, my email address is in qlibs. Um, and that will be all then. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm sorry I couldn't hear you and that sometimes it was noisy. I did my best. <laughs> um, all right. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice day.